Good morning. We are going to deal with lecture six and seven regarding the book Language Leader English Two. We have to deal with the continuation of Unit Three. First item is Model Perfect Grammar, page thirty-one, number seven and nine. First, we have to define a modal verb. A modal verb is a modal. Modal perfect is a modal verb plus have plus the past participle. Use must, can't, couldn't have plus the past participle. To express certainty about something in the past. For example, I'm sure the ambassador enjoyed the reception. By using the modal perfect, this changed into the ambassador must have enjoyed the reception. He must have paid his bill. I have got all the money. She can't have arrived. As her coat isn't here, Marcel couldn't have written this. This English is is not good enough. Important note: the opposite of must have done is can't, couldn't have done. It expresses impossibility, so it's very important not to use must not. Use me, might, could have, plus the past participle to express a degree of possibility in the past. Examples: They might have cancelled the class. There was no one there. I could have finished my degree, but I was too lazy. We use should, ought to have. Plus the past participle to express past necessity or criticism. For example, you really shouldn't have missed the exam. We ought to have called your family in advance. They might not be in. I should have taken the job they offered me. I would be a director by now. We used needn't have done to say that we did something, but it turned out not to be necessary, or there was no obligation. Examples: I booked the tickets in advance, but I needn't have done so, as there were lots of empty seats. I have bought an umbrella for you too. Oh, you needn't have done that. I've got my own. Important note: compare with didn't need to. When we use this, we don't know whether the action happened or not. We didn't need to book tickets as the concert wasn't very popular. That's all for Unit Three. Now we have to deal with the remaining parts of Unit Five: vocabulary suffixes. As you remember, we say that suffixes mean the endings of words compared with the prefix, which is the beginning of word. We form nouns by combining the following suffixes with the following words. For example, active. It's an adjective, so activist is a noun or activity. Conscious, conscious is an ad adjective, so consciousness. Convenient, convenience. Emerge becomes emergence. Obsess, we add i o n obsession. Popular, popularity i a t y, and sustain sustainability or 
sustainable and while it is we have it violation as a noun we have continuation again of unit 5 regarding emphatic structure that's on page 53 item 6 and 9 we have several ways of changing the word order of a sentence in English to make it more emphatic, to make it more emphasized, to make it more stressed. One of these ways is inversion. Inversion is changing the position of subject and verb to put the verb first. This is common with a number of negative adverbs such as not only, no sooner, never, scarcely, at no time, little. You see that it's related to negation in the beginning of sentences. Negation means negative. Examples. The doors had no sooner opened than customers flooded in the shop. We start with no sooner. So no sooner had doors opened than customers flooded in the shop. We have it no sooner had the doors instead of the doors had no sooner opened. And related to it is then. No sooner had the doors open than the customers flooded into the shop. Another example is he has designed not only clothes for film stars, but he has also opened stores all around the world. We have it here. He has designed, we, we begin with not only. So not only has he, as if I am asking a question, not only has he designed clothes for film stars, but he has also opened stores all around the world. Another example is we mustn't use child labor under any circumstances. Here we have under any circumstances because it's negative. We mustn't use child labor under any circumstances. So I begin with under no circumstances. Here I change any into no because I will delete the negative. So we say under no circumstances must we use child labor? We here delete the negation or negative. So under no circumstances must we use child labor. We have here must we use child labor. Again, we have another example, including never. I have never been offended in my life. We start with never. Never in my life have I been so offended. Inversion again. Little hmm? Val little knew that Colin had already planned the holiday. We start with little. Little did because we have here a main verb in the past, so we say little did Val know that Colin had already planned the holiday. Again it's an inversion beginning with little and the helping verb. Important note, when we use inversion with present or past simple, we have to use the do auxiliary, as I said. He no sooner attached one than he picks up the next from thousands in the back. No sooner, we start with no sooner did he attach. Because we have attached, so say no sooner did he attach. As if I'm asking a question. So no sooner did he attach one, then 
people sooner than huh? he picks up the next from the from thousands in the back another example the audience little realize the two models the ram sisters are missing today so the audience little realize the two missing today so we start with little little do the audience realize the two models the ram sisters are missing today another important note with verb to be the verb is transformed as is without change like the verb is transferred as is without change for example they are at no time aware of the effect of this fast fashion the effect this fast fashion is having on the environment we say at no time they are at no time so we start with at no time are they aware of the effect this fast fashion is having on the environment 